Now time for this morning's Health Watch and today stopping ovarian cancer. A newly published report is not encouraging. It states that the initial symptoms are of little value in detecting this type of cancer, which may explain why only 20% of cases are found early and why last year there were more than 21,000 new cases of ovarian cancer and more than 14,000 deaths. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more on this. Good morning, Good Dr. Good morning, Maggie. This report published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute says that the initial symptoms don't necessarily lead to detection. Why is that? Right, because they are so common, so vague, and we in the field of gynecology have been trying to educate not only ourselves and our colleagues, but patients to be on the lookout for these vague symptoms because in the past we thought they really might be good indicators. It turns out they're not because things like bloating or stomach swelling, pelvic pain or pressure, change in your eating habits, or a change in your urinary habits can be connected with early symptoms of ovarian cancer, but they're not definitive. They're not 100% reliable. They could signal other things as well. Absolutely, and in fact, they often do. So what I think is important for women to know is they need to pay attention to those symptoms, especially if they're new, and discuss them with their doctor. But just because they have them doesn't mean they have ovarian cancer. I know another problem is that with ovarian cancer, there's not a screening test like a mammogram for breast cancer. That's so right. how is it diagnosed usually? It's really a constellation of things. Obviously, things like your family history, your age, if you have other increased risk factors like never having had a baby, those things are important. Then we combine symptoms with your risk factors and other tests like blood tests and ultrasound. We put all those things together to stratify risk. Is there anything you can do to reduce your risk? Actually, what few people know, very important, taking birth control pills, having pregnancies, getting your tubes tied, those are all very protective. And again, we need better and more accurate detection methods in the future. That's the key. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you so bet. much. Thank you.